All right, this is probably the worst hot tub I've had to work on. There's literally slugs, spiders, the water's black, and the smell is just disgusting. It's not been used for a couple years, and it was turned on the other day so the water was warm. So what I'm gonna do is put the pump in and jet it down as it's draining. Hoover out all the bits at the bottom, then fill it back up. Clean out underneath, there's a lot of leaves in there. Get the filters cleaned up. I've got some cartridge cleaner, spray that on. Now it's filled back up, I'll get the hot tub flush. Get everything running, all the jets, pour it in down the skimmers, let it run through for about half an hour. You see all the dirt coming out of the pipes. Drain it down again, hoover out all the little bits. Start filling it back up and that's job done. Holly your boy for the pool work. You? come to this pool get it ready for the summer first off though we're going to drain it down because it needs some work doing to it there's a little split in the fiberglass that needs repairing and obviously it's quite green so we're going to clean that out as well marks out of 10 for the tiktok symbol let me know in the comments we're going to get the pump in get it drained down and while it's draining i'm going to jet wash the copings so coming back the next day we're empty but obviously quite messy there's a lot of algae at the bottom Gonna start jet washing around the steps first, get the bulk of it off before we acid wash. Rinse down the pool as we're going. The toll band's gonna be re grouted as well because it's got like no grout on it anymore. Move out the last bits, empty that in a bucket and let the pump pump it away. And that's the pool all cleaned out. Let's get some water in there. Now it's ready for the summer. Holly, your boy, for the pool work. So I had a customer call and tell me that their pool is really, really green and it's an emergency because they plan on having a party next weekend. And let me show you what we're working with. So it's been raining a lot and they said that their pump has been off. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this water from green like this back to crystal clear. Step one, we're gonna start out with a green to clean. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the pool and brush before we put this stuff in. And then we're gonna put use, we're gonna use all four pounds. All right, so we just sprinkled this whole thing all the way around the edge of the pool, kind of toss some there in the middle. And then uh, we gotta wait five minutes and then we're gonna add our shock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two pounds of shock. Uh, once we do that, we're gonna let it run for 24 hours. We're gonna add another two pounds, let it run for 24 hours, add another two pounds. And then on that last time when we shock, then that's when we're gonna add chlorine. Uh, on this particular pool, they don't have like a chlorinator. So they just have like a floatable uh, little uh, little chlorinator that goes around the pool so it should be fine mixed in with the uh, with the shock come back tomorrow for an update so I was checking skimmers and I found this little dude he's got some orange on him he's pretty okay dude just keep going that way and there's a creek you'll find it the creek leads to a really big lake so he'll be happy in there flush the toilets it's marshmallow time. 
do not push the emergency stop button. Feast, my child. Marshmallow time. I just saw the biggest turd I've ever seen in my entire life. Go see a doctor and flush the toilet. <laughs> Everyone shut the fuck up and look at the size of these frogs. Why are you in my chemical tester? Okay, and there's another one. Sir, sir, please. <laughs> look at them, they're so small. I'm gonna go put them somewhere safe. So this pool's nickname is Bubbles. Hence the name Bubbles, you can see that the paint is bubbling all the way around the entire pool. The client had their guys paint the pool with a non-chlorinated uh, deck paint that they put in the actual pool. So obviously the deck paint absorbs moisture, starts bubbling up, and it looks super, super bad. So we quoted a job to go out there and scrape the bubbles off, get back to the concrete, and then lay down a new layer of epoxy paint. Well, in the process of that, we found about six more layers of various blues paint. So this job just got a whole lot harder. Like for part two. What's up, y'all? Uh, I'm just gonna do a little voiceover of the last job I just did. Um, this concrete was very, very dirty. I don't think it was ever washed since it's been put down. I don't think it's ever been washed. With that being said, um, it was so dirty I had to go over it twice because the surface cleaner just, it, it left lines in the concrete. I don't know why, but here's me going over a second time. Um, the next part, I put down some chemical, let it sit for a little bit, and I did the edges, and then here's me surface cleaning most of it, and even with just with the surface cleaner, it looks a lot better, but I just didn't like how it left lines in it. So, see, you can kind of see them right there, but yeah. This is probably really gross, but um, I have ducks, and their pool desperately needs cleaned, so that's what I'm going to do. I still have a fish. These came out of my pool. They're little feeder fish, so I feed them to my ducks. I didn't realize they didn't quite finish them. So I'm gonna put these guys in here until I put them in again. So this is the stuff that came out, all the big chunks. I'm gonna have to clean it out of my yard later, but now I'm going to drain and then spray out the pool. Um, my hands are taking a drink right now. But then, um. I'm gonna have to refill it and I'm gonna put these two little feeder fish back in there and I'm gonna get some more. Alright then, come to this pool to get it ready for the summer and it's pretty green. It's not a small one either, it's probably around 25 foot by about 50 foot. So there's a lot of shock that's gonna go in, about four tubs. I'm gonna sprinkle that all the way around the pool while the pool's running as well. Get the brush out, brush the whole pool, all the surfaces, and let that do its thing. A few days later, we're back and it's nice and clear. Everything's settled to the bottom. I've got the vac gear out of the van and prime the pump as usual and start hoovering.
Yeah, I've given this a go here. It's pretty hard though with um, just one hand. Not bad, but I should have gone round a bit more. Cup of tea and biscuits from the customer. Nearly there. And that's job done. Holly your boy for the pool work. Sometimes it's not as clean as you first think. Wait till the end. All right, you've probably seen this pool on TikTok before. Gem Red hollered your boy for the pool work. So I've popped down to take a look, see what condition we're in. The plant room's literally been taken over by spiders. The pool water is just black. There's a few loose copings with a lot of moss all over them. That's Gem Red's brother. He jumped in the pool a few months ago. He must be crazy. And we've got some floating plants here as if it is a pond or something. We stuck the net into the bottom to see what would come up, a lot of leaves obviously and a very bad smell. Spa boy almost dropped his iPad in the water. Checked out the deep end as well. It's possibly going to be the worst pool that I've done if we do do it. I'm not even sure what's in there. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Can we get it cleaned up? Holly your boy for the pool work. Question, do you ever have pools you can't clear? Yeah, this does happen a fair amount. Sometimes it's so bad it won't actually clear and you end up emptying it. This is a really bad one, so I thought I'd give you an idea. I don't even know how this is going to turn out myself. It's so green, thick sludge on the bottom. But we can't empty it because it's really unstable, the structure. So we're going to chemical it up really high, hope for the best. You'll see the shock gets to work straight away. It starts to cloud up, which ends up being precipitated calcium carbonate. A little bit of a fact for you there. Sometimes call it a white out. See that shock's reacting with all that organic matter as well. Give you a nice little effect there. Yeah, this is really bad, so I'm not too optimistic about this one. But we do like a challenge. See the leaves and like all the algae starting to float to the top as well. Makes like this scummy layer. Looks a bit like a foam, but yeah. Jump in for part two if you want to see if we can do it. Cheers. Don't stick anything in the jets. And I mean anything, don't. <laughs> when I was getting my CPO and AFO certification, we learned about a man that stuck his wee-wee into a jet. And guess what? He doesn't have a wee-wee anymore. Marshmallow time. Baby marshmallow time. Somebody lost their chain in a skimmer. 
flush the toilets. Marshmallow time. A chunk of baby mar baby marshmallows. Let's see how many marshmallows this pool's gonna get. It's gonna need like four. Since this pool is a lot smaller, that also determines how many marshmallows it gets. That's why this pool only gets four marshmallows whenever it is marshmallow time. I forgot my little bucket, so it's marshmallow time. Get in the tube. I see you, bitch. I'm coming for you. Don't run from me. Come back here. Well, I got him out of the pool. He's not happy. Sir or ma'am, please vacate the premises. <laughs> I walked him down to the creek. He's free. Back to your regularly scheduled marshmallow time. No bear, no man, and no crackheads. Yet. There is a frog. Look how tiny this toad is. Forbidden sugar. Baby marshmallow time. Marshmallow time. Spooky pool time. Marsh... fart. Mellow time. Damn it. Flush the toilets. Who disrespected goldfish like this? Money? God damn, did Wolverine open this bitch? The ants appreciate all the food you left. Marshmallow time. Baby marshmallow time. Forbidden sugar. If it'll come out. I just got recognized again. <laughs> if y'all see this, be safe. Have a good night.